Hey guys, we are at the absolutely beautiful Binder Lake, Jefferson City, Missouri. Really cool course. And we're gonna be throwing all Simon line today. I've been loving this pixel. I've been talking all about it, really hyping it up, glazing as the kids say today. So I had to get the matching time lapse. Uh, I also love the pixel so much, I got a second pixel. And this one's purple, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna throw all Simon line discs today. Uh, give you a good idea, just the flight on this course. Pretty good variety of holes. We're gonna play the back nine. We're just gonna have a chill, fun time. Let's do this. This is a 200 foot par three, very narrow gap. Let's see if I can hit it with that pixel. Oh shoot. Two off the first, right? Pixel, second time. Oh, there we go. That's a beauty. Yeah, you. Yeah. The pixel. You know I love it. All right, second hole here is a freaking toughie. 250 feet, but you have to navigate uh, 100 trees to get there. It's the last we're gonna try our pixels out. Pretty good, got through. Let's try our other pixel out. See if I can replicate that. Maybe push a little bit straighter this time. Oh, oh. Ignore that one. Gotta go to the straddle for this guy. Oh. Oh. I never learn. No shame in par. I can't believe how fast I've fallen in love with these pixels for throwing, even with them being deeper than what I'm used to using. I gel with them so well. For putting, I'm still kind of getting used to it. I've only been putting with them for about a week, but I'm also like 30% C1X for all straddle putts, period. So that's not really a reflection of the pixel. Don't hold it against them. All right, our third hole is about 400 feet downhill. Um, it's right in front of that truck. Don't ask me why there's a truck parked right behind the basket. Don't want to hit that. I think we're going to start with the time lapse on forehand. First forehand of the day, hopefully not too rusty. Oh yeah, she's beefy. Dang. Yeah, I just picked up that time lapse like a week ago. Only throwing it a few times. That is so overstable. Good for my forehand because I have terrible forehand form. So I kind of need that. Let's try the pixel though. I'm gonna try to hang this out kind of wide and see if I can drift it over. Oh, nope. I threw that one on way too much Anheuser. I'm gonna try to put this one out flatter, get it out straight. We got our first par four. This is 460 feet. Lot to contend with over here. We're just gonna put the time lapse on some hyzer up through this right gap. Gosh. That is just crazy overstable. Wow. I did watch Simon's video where he talks about the colors of the time lapses. Apparently the red is on the more overstable side, but I'm also just kind of a wimp, so I don't know. Par three, 370 feet. I'm gonna try to do a little flex line. Definitely don't want to end up left. Go down the hill, so we want to stay to the right. Let's try to start with the time lapse. Ooh. That was gnarly. Yeah, that's better. Got pretty lucky with where this one landed. I gotta really rehab my forehand because I have just been rolling my wrist so much on these forehands, so bad. But let's park this thing with the pixel.
pixels helped me get that C1X percentage up. All right, so we are five holes in, two birdies. This one is a 250 foot, but straight uphill par three. Bust out the time lapse, see what I can do. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Pin high, love it. Left this one a little bit shorter than I thought. Got a little bit of a putt here. Not the one that counted, so. Time lapse, even though I was complaining about it being really overstable, I actually really like still. It's weirdly glidey for a really overstable disc, because typically I feel like really overstable correlates with lower glide. But this guy, not the case. This guy pushes while it fades, so it's got some use, despite being really overstable, you know. And, I, and me, you know, I just gotta I just gotta beef up a little bit, you know. Definitely, it's more my arm than the disc. So even though really overstable, not really bad, still good. Good disc, and even better, the Pixel. I mean, I already knew I loved the Pixel, but today is just confirming that even more. Yeah, I was unsure if I'd like it for putting, but uh, the putts are going in today, for the most part, so that's good. And if you think you'd like the Pixel, why don't you go pick one up at my sponsor, GrownThrough.shop. That's right, here in Columbia, Missouri. Grown Throw is an awesome retailer. They got the Pixels, plenty of Pixels still, as well as plenty of Eagle Envies, that's right, in a bunch of colors still. So if you've not had your chance to go pick up these very nice discs, why don't you go to growingthrough.shop. 320 foot par three. Kinda gotta weave it through these trees and end to the right a little bit. We're gonna start with a time lapse, which may be a bad idea, but um, you know, I want to make my forehand work today. Not roll my wrist. That's my goal, do not roll the wrist. That's pretty good. Not bad. Let's try the pixel though, why not? Oh, that's a nice one. Love that. One more pixel shot for the road. I just love throwing it. Yeah, there we go. That is a beauty. And while we're here having a good time, let's throw the envy in. We don't want Eagle to feel left out. That was a bad throw. Uh, I got my work cut out for me here. I got a wall of trees. I think I'm gonna have to do a forehand ship shot with the time lapse, which is an awful idea. Never do this. Hey, it worked. It worked, but don't do that. Uh, the straddle bites me again. That's that 30% C1X straddle I was talking about. All right, hole 17. I believe it's in the far spot, so it's a par four, 630 feet. Also got people taking like family photos on to the right, so goal number one is not to hit them. This was actually in the short spot, so it was more like a 350 foot par three. So it's par. My right, last hole, really long par five. It is, oh, how long is it? 790, 790 feet, it's in a long spot. Gosh, that thing is just so overstable. All right, I gotta make up for that wimpy first throw with a big flex, just straight, get out over this hill. Ah, uh, that was not it. Well, the flex shot is just not happening today. So normally I'd want to be like edge of circle after the second throw, but um, we'll have to do with 200 feet out. Let's do some pixels, little pixel approaches. Yep, 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 yep. Get up there, oh. It don't get better than that, but we'll try to anyway. Second pixel. Oh yeah. 
just so straight. Dang. Love that. Well, guys, that was nine holes, and that was a lot of fun. That was a great round. What I learned, well, I learned the Pixel's amazing. I guess I already knew the Pixel was amazing, but this just reconfirmed my love for it. Um, just so stupidly straight. I think I'm gonna use it as my putting putter through this year. That's tentative though, we'll see. We also learned the time lapse is just dummy overstable. Just crazy, crazy <laughs> overstable, at least for me. Maybe this is just a wake up call that I need to completely revamp my backhand form. And I also gotta work on my flex lines because my flex lines were not great today. But it was still a good round. Still felt like I played pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to use the time lapse more. It's not gonna be my go-to distance driver, but it's gonna be great for when I need something I know is really, really overstable, something good for the wind. Um, and it complements the pixels really well for just like a two disc round because you can get something that's really torque resistant plus something that's just really, really straight. So good stuff. So yeah, really liking these two discs. Excited to throw them more this season. And again, thank you to my sponsor, Grow and Throw. And also like and subscribe if you like this video, if you like the time lapse, you like the pixels, all that stuff, go like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you next time.